How's it going everybody and welcome to the full review of the VPN with probably the best name on the market, Hide My Ass or for short HMA. It's one of the most popular services out there and they claim they can hide your rear, even Kim Kardashians. Well, just like every other VPN review on the channel, I put them to the test in the following five categories each rated by importance for a total score out of five. Four stars being the recommending TechLore approved mark. Let's kick off with security at 40%. HMA's jurisdiction is based in the UK, which is in the five eyes of the 14 eyes program. Definitely a concern for some of you out there. There are logs. They store your username, timestamps, bandwidth, your actual IP address, and the IP address of the VPN server you connect to. Not a great logging policy. They do own a majority of their DNS servers, but they use OpenDNS for some, which is not good for your privacy since OpenDNS is known to collect and sell data. HMA offers OpenVPN, IPsec, L2TP, and PPTP protocols, the most secure encryption being AES-256 encryption. There is no system-wide kill switch, only a kill switch for predetermined programs, a big concern for any security-minded individuals. HMA changed my IP address and it passed the Heitzer DNS leak test and the DNSLeakTest.com's DNS leak test. Lastly, I do have to mention that a hacker got caught from the FBI after Hide My Ass handed over the user's information. You do have to remember that they do keep logs and if the FBI is asking for logs, from any company, they are going to hand them over. If this bugs you, look for a service with a no log policy. After adding up all the pros and cons, HMA came out with two and a half stars on security. Security itself is actually pretty strong on Hide My Ass. Where they really fell off was in privacy, their extensive use of logs, their jurisdiction, and also their previous track record makes it a not very private option. Next up is speed, worth 20%. HMA had a server very close to me, which offered no drop off in my ping. However, my download speeds decreased on average by a little over 18% and uploads by almost 7%. These speeds are far from great, but they're not awful. From my testing, they scored almost exactly the same as ExpressVPN, giving Hide My Ass a score of three stars out of five. Let's move on to the settings and customization for a mere 5%. HMA is the most minimal, least customizable program I have yet to ever review. They offer an auto start and connect when Windows boots up, basic Wi-Fi customization, a TCP option, and a manual kill switch for individual programs. And that's it. Now I'm gonna discuss the lack of customization later on in the video because it's not necessarily a bad thing for every user out there. However, when it comes to raw customization, they're gonna score one and a half out of five stars because they offer such a small selection. Now let's discuss their usage, worth 15%. The Windows program is very minimal, easy to use, and gets the job done in a simple manner. There's really not much more to say. However, a complaint I have is that you can't resize the window, which sucks on a 4K monitor. I won't deduct for that, but please fix this. It's gonna drive anyone over 40 completely insane. For Linux, they do have a command line interface, which I guess is better than managing hundreds of profiles using OpenVPN, but it's still not the greatest experience. I do, however, appreciate the CLI effort. The Android app is surprisingly even more minimal than the Windows client, offering a whopping three settings. One of them is an IP shuffle though, something actually pretty useful and makes me wonder why it's not on any of their other clients. Also, I am not happy the data collection settings are enabled by default without prompting you. I'd recommend you privacy-oriented users immediately disabling these. iOS really brings it home, offering exactly one setting and the same two data collection settings, which I'd recommend you disable. Torrenting, on the other hand, is kind of a dicey topic. There seems to be some censorship towards what you can download, which is a very valid concern, but there is nothing officially stating that they block torrents or even enough evidence for me to assume they do. So I can't officially mark off for this, but do keep in mind that there are quite a few users who have come out saying that their torrents have been throttled or cut out altogether. To summarize usage, normally I subtract one star for offering no Linux client. However, HMA does offer partial Linux support with their CLI program. So I'm gonna subtract half a star for no Linux support. They really did take minimalism to an absolute extreme. 
as much as I don't like it, I'm sure tons of users out there love it. Four and a half out of five stars. Lastly, stability at 20%. I used it for a few days and had absolutely no issues. No bugs, no crashes, no leaks. I guess that data collection is definitely paying off. Five out of five stars. All right, before I give you guys the final calculated score, there are a few more things I wanna mention about Hide My Ass that I think are important to share. They allow up to five simultaneous devices, a pretty standard amount. There are at least 870 servers in about 190 countries as of today, making it one of, if not the largest country selection of any VPN I've reviewed on the channel. Price-wise, they are not cheap. The cheapest plan is $6.99 per month, for a 12 month plan. I did find this Firefox add-on, but it's from 2015 and there is no mention of it on their website, so I'd stay well away from this. And lastly, they offer a guaranteed 30 day money back policy. Yeah, that's great. No, there's a giant asterisk. As long as you haven't gone over 10 gigabytes of data usage or 100 sessions, both of which can probably easily be done in a week's time very sketchy refund policy indeed. So adding up everything, HMA ended up scoring 3.35, which rounds up to 3.4 out of 5, so it is not TechLore approved. My thoughts are that the server is geared towards the absolute simple oriented users who want the easiest, most minimal experience out there for a VPN. That's honestly it. Speeds aren't great for downloading your gaming, security is not good for your security users out there, and customization is pretty weak. But if you want a very simple experience for just maybe general web browsing, HMA does offer a decent option for you. If you want to keep up with my future VPN reviews, make sure to subscribe below. Also, if you like this video, you know what to do. If you want to follow the Techler community, make sure to join our Instagram, our Discord, and Minds. That is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lemuricious day. So they really did take minimalism to the whole new extreme. As much as I don't like it, I'm sure lots of you guys out there do like. They took minimalism to it. They took minimalism to the absolute. They took minimalism to the absolute extreme. As much as I don't like it, I'm sure a ton of users out there do love this fact.